You know what? The end of that mop's got a got a dang uh, bottle opener on it. Look at that. Open up my Topo Chico with it. Gotta love my Topo Chico. Hey, I'm Big Lou, and this is Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And I want to welcome you to the show today. We're going to be doing a garlic studded pork loin roast on the grill with lemon pepper garlic rub and an injectable marinade we're going to make ourselves, all right? It's easy to make, you know, a butter injectable marinade, Cajun Creole marinade, whatever. We're going to use some of that lemon garlic rub in the marinade, all right? And I think I'm going to cook it on my old smoky grill. I really like that grill. They're inexpensive and I've had it forever and I really like the way it cooks stuff like this. Anyway, um, let's get it started. Let me show you how I rubbed it down. Big Lou Barbecue. All right, for the preparation part, we're going to speed things up. And I started early in the morning with a cup of smoked pork stock. I made that smoked pork stock about a month and a half ago and kept it in the freezer, and it was refrigerated right there. That's why it looks so thick. I've got a video coming out about how to make the smoked pork stock and other stocks too, but I've got to find time to make the other stocks and add to that video. There's half a stick of butter and then the juice of a lemon I squeeze in there. That's half the lemon, and I go ahead and squeeze in the other half as well. Hey, that's the... Uh, Lemon pepper garlic rub or lemon garlic pepper rub, something like that. It's by Dr. Doors and it was sent to me by a subscriber named Tim. And our, it's really, really good stuff, but you can find other brands of it in grocery stores. Lemon pepper garlic or lemon garlic pepper. And anyway, once it came to a boil and simmered, it looked like that. I poured it up into a mason jar, put it in the refrigerator until I was ready to use it that afternoon. All right, so later that afternoon, as it starts to get dark, I pull out my center cut pork roast. Uh, pork loin is actually longer than this, and they will cut the ends off of it. There's a flat end and a point end, and they'll cut and make boneless pork chops off of that. Then they'll sell the center roast because it fits into crock pots and stovetop pots and instant pots better. We're going to be cooking it on my old smoky grill today. And there's what that Dr. Doors uh, lemon garlic pepper rub looks like, or seasoning rather. And we're going to be coating it with that. All right. I poured it off into a clean mason jar because once my hands get greasy with the uh, pork loin and nasty with the pork loin, I don't want to touch the packaging. And there is a whole head of garlic I've broken into cloves. And there's that injectable marinade. It's been in the refrigerator and gotten a little thick. But that's okay. We're going to shake it up and we'll still be able to inject it into this pork loin. It's going to work well. All right. First thing I want to do is trim off some of the fat. Not a whole lot of fat comes off of this one some of it was already trimmed but there's how much fat i cut off of it and i'm going to make some lard and i've got a new comal to uh season up and i'm going to show you all that comal in an upcoming video man that thing is going to be nice so anyway i got to use that for season up a comal i'm gonna use that's what i don't throw that fat away all right now it's time to inject it so i fill up my little injector i just use the plastic injectors that come with the uh you know, the, when you buy the injection stuff in the store, I've got plenty of them. I've been doing it for years. Anyway, uh, we're just going to inject it all over the pork loin in different places here and there and everywhere. You want to do it from the side and from the bottom. And we're going to do it on the ends as well. We're just going to inject it. Oh, oh, the little plastic thing fell apart. All right, but that's okay. We just put it back on together and uh, get it injected in the end right there. That was a little off camera, but just shooting it up in the end and we're gonna shoot the other end up of it with it too. Now I'm not gonna use all that injectable marinade. I'm gonna use about half of it and the rest of it is going to be used for our basting sauce out on the grill in a little bit. All right, now we're ready to stud it. If you don't know how to stud it, you wanna just cut uh, a little pocket into there with your knife. And if I had a thinner knife, I could probably cut it and stud it a little deeper. But if you put the garlic in there deeper, um, it may not get quite as soft, but anyway, we're just going to, you know, put the little pockets in with the knife here, there, and everywhere and shove that garlic down into it. Some are deeper than others. And I try to put it in there enough so that every slice has at least some garlic with it. And you'll see that when we cut it up, never perfect with doing that, but you know, it works out. So just put the little pockets in there and that piece of, uh, garlic was a little too big. So I take it out and I cut it or some of them are a little too big and I cut it and just you can cut the uh, garlic cloves too and slide them in there so we're just going to make these little pockets slide it all over this pork loin put another one right there just like that that one's too big so we're going to cut it in half make two of them out of it all right and we'll put one right there and just get in there would you get in there get 
in there. There it goes. Sometimes you got to talk rough to them. That's the only language those garlic pods will understand. Those garlic cloves will understand. You know, you got to get get in there. Get inside there. There you go. All right. Let's put one more right here. And I don't know how many I've got left at this point, but, you know, I'm going to put them all in there. Uh, that one's big, too. Let's cut it in half, and that'll make two of them, all right? And uh, we'll put one right there. Get yourself inside that little uh, pocket. All right, and we're going to stud another one right there. All right, and right there. I've got two of them, I guess. One, now that one goes in real easy. Look at that. All right, and let's put another one in. Oh, uh, well, nope. We got it done. All right, now we're going to add on this uh, lemon pepper garlic rub. That stuff is really, really good, y'all. I'm so glad that uh, Tim sent it to me. All right, I've used it on seafood a lot, fish and shrimp, and that's really good. This was the first time I've used it on pork, but I've been waiting to do this recipe for a while. All right, it's about time to go outside and get the grill thrill on, got the old smoky fired up. We're going to go back to real time for a bit. All right, well, I'm sorry you missed it, but I just dumped the um, entire thing of coals on that side right there. And uh, we're going to be cooking right over this side. There's some of the ash from the paper I used. And for fun, I'm going to throw some hickory chips on there. Just like that. All right, we got to set the grate on there. All right, uh, let's get this uh, pork loin on here. We're just gonna put it right here opposite the coals. Like that. Now, this is a, that other half stick of butter from the marinade this morning. We're gonna put that right there. And we're gonna dump the rest of that uh, injectable marinade in here. And this is gonna be our basting sauce, our butter basting sauce. All right, we'll get that stirred up and when it's hot and melty, we'll be basting this. Oh, probably every half hour or so. All right, let's check. It's been about 30 minutes. And I need to move it out the way. Ooh, I splashed it so it's not quite over the coals anymore. That butter and everything's melted, and we're just going to mop it on here just like this. I'm going to do this about every half hour just to keep it moist. Hope that it falls into those little slats where the garlic is studded. And this thing should not dry out. It's been injected, and we're uh, mopping it every half hour or so and it should i'm expecting an hour and 45 minutes to two hours on this all right i'm just gonna leave it just like that you know let's go one more time now that's gonna stay warm but not boil because it's not right over the coals gotta get that sauce pot like that all right we might as well speed things up and voice over again no sense in watching uh me base this in uh, real time for the three or four more times I based it. This is at the one hour mark, the second time I based it right here. And I start to notice that I'm running out of liquid in that pot. So I go ahead and get as much on there as I can, cover it up, run inside and get my smoked pork stock because there's a lot of butter and seasoning residue down in the bottom of that pot. You see that right there? A lot of stuff to just mix in there. All I need to do is add a little more liquid. So adding that smoked pork stock out of the refrigerator, it's thick right now, but hey, it's going to heat up and now 90 minutes into it uh it's ready to baste again but what i'm going to do is move it right over the coals uh because the old smoky just cooks like that the coals are eight inches from the grill grate rather than five like they're on other grills all right i went ahead and basted it and then waited another 30 minutes and now it's time to take it off it was right at the two hour mark and i start to check it we're looking for 155 to 160 and as you can see it was 157 right there so it's time to get this thing off of here but i think hey let's baste it one more time before i bring it inside and i'll just start basting it because i wanted to use that grill beast mop because that thing's pretty cool I start basting it, but you know, when you're cooking on camera and stuff, uh, sometimes you don't think too well. I should have thought, there's no reason to baste it right before I bring it in. All right. So I figured, hey, that's kind of silly. So I get that pan. Now I have cleaned the pan. That was the pan I prepped it in, but I cleaned it and just pick the pot up and just pour the stuff right over it. Now bring it inside. All right. Shut the grill down and it's time for the taste test time, y'all. All right, so there it is. It's rested a while. You may hear the buzzing of the microwave in the background, but that's just the way things are. Cook for a family, and that's the way things are. All right, let's cut it. See what we got here. We kept it 
basted so it doesn't have that dried outer crust that a lot of barbecue meats get. It's more like a roast. But oh yeah, look at that. Mmm, juicy, tender, and you got that soft garlic in there. Mmm, oops, see if we can cut a thinner slice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this smells awesome. Look at that garlic falling out of there. Can you see that? Mmm. All right. Pitmaster privilege. Oh, that was just about perfect. Go ahead and get the rest of it cut up. Okay, got some vegetables coming. Got installed a little piece of garlic that fell out. Got that garlic stud in that one. And we're gonna just uh, spoon this juice right over it, this Anjou, all right? From that butter base that we made with the smoked pork stock and the butter and that lemon garlic rub. And look, just, oh, that's gonna be good. All right, cut right through the garlic. Look at the little impression the garlic leaves right there. Mm. All right, I'm gonna taste it on camera for you. All right, I shared some with my family members right off camera, all right? There it is, we cut it up, you saw me cut it. Gave some up, gave a piece to each one of them. I'm gonna try this garlic first. Uh, well, if I stab the garlic with a fork, there we go. All right, it's delicious. That's delicious. All right, pork done perfectly. We injected it with an injectable marinade we made with smoked pork stock that we made, butter, lemon juice, and some of the lemon garlic pepper rub, and then we basted it the whole way through with the stuff with the butter. Studied it with garlic. Wonderful flavor. Is that not tender and juicy? That's Very good. good stuff. That is not dried out pork loin, y'all. That is not dried out barbecued pork loin. Mm -mm. Pork loin didn't have a lot of fat through it, so it's really easy to dry it out. This is not. Big Lou barbecue.